If you're asked to factor the equation x squared minus 12x plus 35, here's how you do it. We're going to start out with a skeleton. And this is our skeleton here, so that'll help us along. Then we look at the signs. So what signs do we have? It looks like the middle term here, that's negative. If that center term is negative, we're going to put a negative and a negative in our skeleton equation, like this. Then we can find the factors for the last term, the 35, and they should equal the middle term. So the factors for 35, and I know 5 times 7, that's 35, but 5 plus 7, that's 12. So I'm going to put a 5 here, 7 here. We're done. We factored the equation x squared minus 12x plus 35. Let's check our work with the FOIL method. We multiply the first, outside, inside, and then last terms. We end up with, and if we combine negative 7x and negative 5x, that gives us negative 12x. We have 35 here, x squared here. It's the same thing as we started out with. So we did this correctly. Let's take a moment, find the values for x. We put them in our equation here, makes this side of the statement zero. Zero equals zero, that's true. We say x minus five equals zero, add five to both sides, x equals five. x minus seven equals zero, add seven to both sides, we get x equals seven. So if I put five, in for x, and I do the math, this side of the equation, it'll equal zero. Likewise, if I put seven in for x here, I do the math, it equals zero. So we did this correctly. If you use the quadratic equation, you'll get these same numbers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 12x plus 35 equals zero. Thanks for watching.